you guys obviously all the well not all the players but the majority of players all live together exception of a few any one particular in the house that you you formed a a bond with or someone that you've kind of gone right yeah yeah you get on really well uh, no i think we all get on pretty reasonably well to be fair um it's a lot more tenable than i thought it was going to be like with yeah. eight people in one house especially guys you live and work with uh, i mean like work with every day playing basketball competing um, but yeah, it's calm. It's not too bad at all, really. Uh, but no, I wouldn't say there's anyone like in particular. Like when uh, when Liam Carpenter was here, we were pretty close. Um, but obviously, he he went back to Germany. Other than that, I'd say yeah, everyone's just pretty tight in the house. Who's head chef at the house? Uh, I don't. I think Dens cooks quite a lot. So I'd probably say Dens. Not you? No, nah, not me. Definitely not me. <laughs> not even gonna lie to you. I lost that in the sun. I lost it in the sun. So what does a basketball's basketball player's off season look like? More basketball, more golf. Uh, probably get a job as well. Um, but yeah, just work out pretty much. Take a couple of weeks off, maybe travel a little bit, go see some friends. And then just back in the gym really. Start lifting weights again, start working out every day, playing pickup. I guess like it's I said this I've said this to a couple of people this year. It's really mental that like this is work. Like realistically this is work for me today, right? Like <laughs> people pay money to come and watch us like run around and like have fun. Shoot a ball in a hoop. And, and have fun. Yeah. You had the your stint as a junior playing in the UK. Um, kind of, what's the transition from when you went from paying to play, like most people in the UK, to being paid to play? Um, I don't necessarily think that's like the best way to look at it. Um, I think obviously, so I went to the States and then went to Canada, where you got scholarship to play for school. So you're you're not technically a professional then. Uh, obviously you're still a student. I would say the biggest difference is from when you're going to, from like those high school teams and, and university teams to them playing pro because, uh, it's very windy. Everyone, uh, when you're at high school or you're at college, you all have like a one goal in mind, right? Like when I was at university, national championship, that's what we want. So every day that's what you're working towards. There's a ball there. Yeah. <laughs> Probably more. Is your fine. Uh, national championship is what you're working for, but then when you enter the pro ranks, it's, uh, there's a lot more selfishness, a lot more um, what do I need to do for my next job, I don't care about the team success, but I want to play, I want to put stats up, I want to move to the next level, to the next team, um, so I'd say that's the biggest difference for sure. Because you went to Blair, right? I did, Blair Academy. So, so where was the point when you were in Blair when you thought, actually I could become a pro? Well no, I mean realistically I thought I could be a pro before I went to Blair. Um, uh, I always, in my head, I wanted to go to the States and see how I fared against that level of competition. But in the back of my mind, I always knew, it sounds bad, but at the time, I look, oh, no matter what, I've got a backup plan, I can go and play profession in Europe. Um, having been on national teams and always thought, uh, especially of the BBL back then, before I a little bit, knew a little bit more, as a worst case scenario, I can go home and play BBL, which I think, um, especially for my generation, was like, a lot of ways that people looked at the league. I don't think that's the case now. Um, obviously, it's elevated a lot. Um, but yeah, in the back of my, my head, I always had the idea of, oh, if I don't make the NBA, which, I mean, at that point, at 16, I already knew I wasn't making the NBA, um, that Europe was what I wanted to do and end up going home to play professionally. 